Hello children. Now I am going to start my subject civics chapter number 3 prime minister and council of ministers. Today I am going to continue the same chapter and let us know something about council of ministers. Okay listen to me children carefully. Article 75 of the constitution state that the prime minister shall be appointed by the president and the other ministers shall be appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister. The president has to accept the choice of the prime minister in the matter of appointment and dismissal of ministers. Normally, only the members of parliament are appointed as ministers. In case a non-member is appointed as a minister, he must be elected or nominated to the parliament within six months from the date of his appointment. Failing this, he will have to resign from the post of a minister. Before 1979, the constitution did not refer to the word cabinet. It referred only to the council of ministers. Okay. Next topic is the types of Council of Ministers. There are three types of Council of Ministers in our India. Number one, Cabinet Ministers. Number two, Ministers of State. Number three, Deputy Ministers. Let us take up the first type of Council of Ministers that is Cabinet Ministers. Listen to me. They are the most important members of the Council of Ministers. They hold important portfolios like Home defense, finance, external affairs, railways, etc. A cabinet minister is in charge of a ministry and uh, sometimes of more than one ministry. Only cabinet ministers have a right to attend meetings of the cabinet. They together determine the policy and uh, program of the government. Now I am taking up the second type of uh, council of ministers that is Ministers of State. They are the second category of ministers. They may or may not hold an independent charge of any portfolio. The Prime Minister may or may not consult them. They do not participate in the cabinet meetings, but uh, they may be invited to attend meetings when matters concerning their departments are being considered. Now I am taking up the third type of council of ministers that is a uh, deputy ministers they are the third category of ministers who assist or help the cabinet ministers and the council of ministers they are junior ministers and are placed under senior ministers whom they have to assist or help they take no part in the cabinet deliberations the council of ministers comprise the prime minister and a number of other ministers appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister. The constitution 91st amendment act in 2003 has put a ceiling. Ceiling means limitation on the size of the council of ministers at the center and the states to 15% of the strength of the Lok Sabha and state legislatures. In the case of smaller states, the maximum number of ministers allowed is 12. Next topic is the formation of the cabinet. Listen to me. The cabinet is composed of a small but important body of senior leaders of the party who are included in the council of ministers. They hold important portfolios and decide major policies of the government. They being trusted colleagues of the Prime Minister form the nucleus of the administration. The cabinet takes important decisions. Such decisions are communicated to the other ministers and they have to follow these decisions even though they might not have been a party to such decisions. These are the details about the formation of the cabinet. I am uh, taking up the next topic that is uh, 
term of office the ministers hold office during the pleasure of the president but the president has little power even in this regard because the prime minister and the council of ministers are directly responsible to the lok sabha and can remain in office so long as they enjoy the majority support in the house of the people that is lok sabha if the lok sabha passes a vote of no confidence against the council of ministers they have to resign collectively these are the details about the topic term of office okay now i am taking up another one topic that is the responsibility of a council of ministers okay the council of ministers have two responsibilities number 1 collective responsibility number 2 individual responsibility let us know the first topic that is a collective responsibility under article 75 3 of the constitution the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to the house of the people the principle of collective responsibility implies the following point number 1 the decisions taken in the meetings of the cabinet are equally applicable to all the ministers even though they may differ among themselves on a particular policy point 2 all ministers jointly share the responsibility for the government's policies and performance the ministers must function as a team in supporting and defending government policies inside as well as outside parliament point 3 a vote of no confidence against one minister is a vote against the whole ministry such a ministry that has lost the confidence of the lok sabha has to resign now i am taking up uh, the second responsibility of a council of ministers that is individual responsibility listen to me children the ministers are individually responsible to the president that is they hold office during the pleasure of the president and uh, may be dismissed by him of course on the advice of the prime minister even when they may have the confidence of the legislature each minister is answerable to parliament for the department under his control it is obligatory for him to answer all the questions asked by the mps mps means member of parliament regarding the functioning of his department every minister is responsible for matters such as personal lapse departure from official policy by him or by his department or breach of oath of secrecy and so on there are many occasions when a minister has a own responsibility for the mistakes or shortcomings of the department under him and resigned from his post these are the details about individual responsibility okay by this i am going to finish the chapter prime minister and council of ministers thank you